supply that we are getting in that we are having the frequencies uh, supply that voltage is 230 volts ac and uh, that frequency is 50 hertz right so 50 cycles per second means 50 hertz so frequency is very simple term but is an important term for an oscillating or varying current frequency it is basically the number of complete cycles per second again the direction should be in the alternating current direction okay next one is the average value so what do you mean by average value okay average value of an alternating quantity is given by the td current which transfers across the circuit the same charge as would be transferred by the alternating quantity across the same circuit in the same time right so it is basically uh, given by the td current Uh, the current should be steady should not varies too much which transfers across the circuit the same charge right the current it is related to charge right as would be transferred by the alternating quantity across the same circuit in the same time so if you see the for symmetrical wave symmetrical wave means the that uh, if you see the sine wave positive negative side that there is a symmetrical wave right but if you see other waves uh, non symmetrical means uh, non sinusoidal non sinusoidal you can see as like Uh, trapezoidal sawtooth all those things are like a symmetrical wave that doesn't repeat properly like positive as well as negative so for like uh, symmetrical wave average value is found for half cycle so if you find average value for half cycle it's okay for the rest of the rest half cycle but for asymmetrical wave we have to find the average value for the whole cycle because that wave is not symmetrical so like for positive it will be different for negative it will be different okay third one is the power factor uh, which is again a very important uh, parameter of an ac circuit the power factor of an ac electrical power system is basically defined as the ratio of the real power flowing to the load to the apparent power in the circuit again ratio of the real power flowing to the load to the apparent power we will again see what is real power and apparent uh, power again it's a dimensionless number you don't have any unit of this power factor its value normally ranges in between minus 1 and 1 uh, again real power is basically the capacity of the circuit for performing work in a particular time whereas the apparent power is the product of current and voltage of the circuit in some books it is written as power factor as uh, ratio of resistance to the impedance of the circuit so uh, you can have like one or two definitions of power factor one is the that is written here uh, that is the ratio of real power flowing to the load to the apparent power in the circuit second one you can take this uh, power factor as the ratio of resistance to the impedance of the circuit right uh so if you are like given with this uh, definitions define all these three quantities it is better to draw one ac wave also alternating wave so if you see uh, that uh, there is a positive peak in the circuit i haven't written any uh, x quantity what is there in the x quantity and y quantity but you can take in the x quantity as like degrees theta you can take uh, and then in the y axis that you can take as an amplitude right uh, so if you see uh, the circuit uh, that uh, the cycle starts from value of 0 at t equal to 0 or at theta equal to 0 then it uh, in th for the positive half uh, it the value of magnitude it increases it reaches a value of 1 at pi by 2 then again it's uh, for rest of the like at uh, pi it is going to it is uh, zero magnitude again it goes in the negative cycle uh, for negative half uh, if you see the peak value is at uh, theta equal to minus uh, the theta equal to 270 the value is minus 1 so this is an alternating waveform alternating uh, current you can say uh, so if in the cycle if i want to calculate the frequency what is the frequency Uh, basically one complete cycle means from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi so the value uh, whatever like it is given from 0 to 360 that will be like uh, theta you are taking or you can convert that theta into time or something the frequency will be 1 by t right again if you want to calculate uh, the peak value what is the peak value for the positive half the peak value is at 1 the value is 1 for the negative it is minus 1 so we can say that peak to peak value is 2 so it will be like 1 minus 1 the total value will be 2 so it is better to draw a waveform and then uh, define all the parameters that is uh, asked in the question right okay so next question is like question 4b it is given to us as prove that the current in pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree okay uh, so we have to prove this uh, this that the current in a pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree it is asked for 6 marks so we have to derive an equation which uh, shows that current in a pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree okay so we'll solve this uh, question okay so what do you mean by pure inductive circuit this is question 4 b right so it is asked to us as current in pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree okay 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड बी नोइंग वॉट इज प्योर इंडक्टिव सर्किट प्योर इंडक्टिव सर्किट मीन्स इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी रेजिस्टेंस एक्चुअली सो दैट विल बी अ प्योर प्योरली इंडक्टिव इन नेचर राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ड्रॉ अ सर्किट right so this is like okay so this is a circuit consider a circuit where uh, we are applying a voltage uh, and we are having like pure inductance uh, and uh, pure inductance value of self inductance is l henry right okay Now, if you see, we are applying a voltage that is V equal to V m sine omega, uh, sine omega t. That is again alternating in nature. So, alternating current is going to flow in this circuit. That is, I am denoting it by I, right? So, because of this alternating current that is uh, flowing in the circuit, because of the alternating voltage that we are applying, um, there is going to, uh, there is like magnetic field is going to produce because of this current, and that uh, magnetic field will be alternating in nature. Again, because of this magnetic field, there will be an induced EMF in the circuit, right? so that induced emf uh, we can say that induced emf as self induced emf right so if you see i can write because of this alternating voltage alternating current is getting produced in this circuit and because of this alternating current in the circuit magnetic field is going to get produced in the circuit right and this magnetic field in the circuit actually it links with inductor right so we will be having an alternating induced emf in the circuit right so we can directly say that self induced emf that term we can denote is we can say again that uh, emf that is induced in the inductor we can uh, uh, place that uh, we can give that name as self induced emf right again the self induced emf at any instant of time will be what it will be equal to minus l di by dt right again why negative sign negative sign is uh, which shows that it is an opposing emf right so we can keep this equation as like two first equation as like v equal to vm sin omega t as our first equation right so e equal to minus l di by dt again uh, we can say that voltage applied is equal to and opposite to this self induced emf right so we can write this equation as v that is equal to minus e or it will be equal to l di by dt this is equation 3 right so if you see up to now what we have seen is we have like uh, we have drawn a circuit where in that circuit if you see there is a like alternating voltage source is there then there is a self pure inductive circuit uh, because it is as like in a uh, we have to prove the current in a pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree so we are considering an inductor that is purely inductive in nature and because of this uh, voltage alternating voltage we are getting some self induced emf And that I am giving as e equal to minus L di by dt, and uh, minus and sign shows that is an uh, is an opposing EMF. Uh, this EMF will be equal and opposite to the voltage that we are applying in the circuit. So we can write all these three equations, right? Okay. If you see equation one and equation three, we are having two equations. First equation is v equal to v m sine omega t. Third equation is v equal to L di by dt. So I am equating equation one and three. So we can write directly as v m. sin omega t that is equal to l di by dt right that is by equation equating equation 1 and 3 okay now in this equation uh, we can modify we can write directly this equation as di l di that is equal to vm sin omega t dt right or we can write this equation as di that is equal to vm by l sin omega t dt this is nothing as a variable separable method that is there in that um, uh, if you see the mathematics uh, we are doing one method that is for differential equations that variable separable method right so we are differentiating this current di and as well as that we are uh, like uh, separating this again a uh, time parameter that is dt right okay so now if you integrate this equation what we will get integration of di equal to vm by l is constant integration of sin omega t dt 
here you can you should write like integrating this equation right ok so integration of di it will be i and integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t divided by omega right and that constant we are not taking that is we are considering as 0 right ok so finally we can say i equal to minus vm by omega l cos omega t right ok okay so what we can do is same equation i equal to minus vm by omega l cos omega t we can write this equation as minus vm by omega l in terms of cos uh, cos is given i can write this cos in terms of sin as sin pi by 2 minus omega t right because it will be like in the first quarter and sin pi by 2 minus theta is cos uh, theta right ok now what I am doing is I am taking this minus inside the bracket right so I can write in this way because uh, sin is a like odd quantity right so of sin of minus theta is minus sin theta So, here in we can write this equation as omega t because minus in the if you uh, expand or this if you open this bracket it will be right ok. So, this is our final equation sin omega t minus pi by 2 into v m by omega l v m by omega l is constant right ok. Uh, now, the value of current will be maximum only when this sign uh, that sign quantity it is equal to unity. So, what will be the maximum value? Maximum value I m will be V m by omega l when sin this term sin theta I am denoting as that theta that is equal to 1 right. So, maximum value of current will be V m by omega l right. So, I can write this equation as for the current I can write equation as I equal to I m sin omega t minus pi by 2 right. So, this is our final equation for current that is I equal to I m sin omega t minus pi by 2 because I m value is the maximum value of current is V m by omega l right. So, now if you compare this equation. Uh, the, uh, the voltage that we applied that equation was V equal to V m sin omega t right and the current the uh, value we find for current is I equal to I m sin omega t minus pi by 2. So, if you see all the, the uh, these two uh, equations uh, we can say that current in a pure inductive circuit it lags its voltage by 90 degree right. So, this equation we have proved it. Again, uh, we can draw a simple uh, waveform actually, simple uh, waveform again a phasor waveform also. This will be a phasor waveform. This is like V you can say, this is you can take as current I, it will be like 90 degree. Right, this is a phasor diagram, simple. So, this is a phasor diagram, ok. Uh, waveform uh, that AC waveform that you that also you can draw right. So, it will be. So, here it will be like I V and the year you can take as uh, radian or theta you can say right. So, like this is this is my like V equal to voltage waveform right. So, I it is going like this uh, lagging the voltage by like uh, pi by 2. So, it will start something down right this is our like pi by 2 pi and this is our 2 pi 
so it will start something like this so this waveform will be so this will form it will be for current i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 right so this way also you can uh, show because it is asked for like 6 marks so first we have to derive and we have to prove that uh, current in a pure inductive circuit lags its voltage by 90 degree next what we should do is uh, simple uh, we have to draw a waveform uh, after proving and this waveform uh, is like we have to draw both the diagrams phasor diagram which shows that uh, voltage as well as current they are differ by pi by 2 that 90 degree fa phase shift right and uh, current uh, it lags actually that uh, voltage by 90 degree and same waveform uh, for ac wave uh, we can say uh, draw for uh, voltage as well as current right okay so this is how you should proceed for any question like if it is given for proof first of all uh, all the draw circuit then necessary equations and then finally or de uh, finally if you have proved then draw waveform right okay uh, so next question is like question 4c uh, it is a basically a numerical uh, what is given in the question is like i1 current two currents are given in the expression first one is like i1 okay uh, it is given as i1 as 40 sin uh, in bracket omega t omega value is like 314 uh, t plus 30 degree and i2 it is given to as 20 sin 3140 uh, uh, again omega t minus 60 degree right uh, okay what we have to find is find the expression for i1 and i2 i1 minus i2 okay so again we will solve this question what we have to do in this question is first write given data so this is like question 4 c okay so what is given to us as given data i1 that is equal to 40 sin 3140 plus 30 degree right and i2 as twenty sine minus sixty degree okay okay uh